Hi, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Today we're looking at a disposal and thinking about putting a new one in. So, what we're going to talk about is basically putting a new one in, testing your old one. So, if your disposal only hums when you turn it on. So you turn the switch on and it only hums. It doesn't really chop. You can't hear the blades moving in there. Basically what you want to do is make sure that you have power. Go to your breakers and make sure that there's power to the unit. You might want to take a, a voltmeter and measure the voltage that's going to it. And you can stick a broom, ha broom handle or something similar to this down there to make sure the chopper wands are not uh, jammed up. If you have a bone or something down there, it might jam it up. And if you turn it on and you have power at the socket, and you look under here, and you look for the little magic reset button should be right in there that little red button and you push that red button and it still hums once again go and take a broom handle down there and push it in there and see if you can get that chopper wand to spin if you can't get the chopper wand to spin and you have hum at your disposal you have power at your disposal and the main bearing on the disposer is shot and you'll have to get a new one. Now this one here is of course an Ace brand. They have three different models to choose from. They have a, a quarter horse, half horse, and I think a full one horsepower heavy duty. This one was about 75, 80 bucks. And this is the one we're gonna put in here. Now this one actually still works. But they've had problems with it clogging up uh, quite often recently, so we're just gonna replace it. Okay, so first thing that we need to do is of course turn off your power. Turn off the power, disconnect the hoses, and on this one we have to disconnect the wire from the disposal unit okay so this one is what they call hardwired in so this one does not have a plug-in so we're going to, have to wire this separately make sure your power is off before you try this and see we have a small leak here we're gonna to have to deal with sooner or later somebody is and so this one here has a fixed drain which may not particularly line up with the drain on the new one we may have to do some modifying on that one and see what happens so this one's got this hardwired wire here that we take off You can see there are these are crimped connectors that will have to be uncrimped and taken off. We also have a ground wire in here, which is good for this particular model, and we'll have to take that off as well and replace it accordingly. Okay, so this one is actually wired up with the white wire going to, if you notice on these cords, you'll see that one edge has a rib on it, that has a rib on it, that edge of the wire has a rib on it, and this one doesn't, it's got, it's clean, clean. it's got a clean edge on it. Uh, once again, this one has a rib on it. You can see there's ripples or whatever, ridges. And so that ridged edge 
goes to the white wire. And that rippled edge goes to the white wire and the clear edge goes to the black wire on this particular one. And we're just going to wire it up the same way it came off. Okay, so this has this little clip here you have to deal with, basically. And this clip goes on that little ridge right there. That little ridge. And I put a little bit of silicone on this, and a little bit down there, just to ensure a nice seal. Uh, you could use plumber's putty, would work. And then you can wipe that clean. And so that little lip right there, this thing goes up in there on that. And then once you get that up, this little ring has to go underneath this. So it holds this piece up in there. And then once you get that all clipped in, then you can tighten it up with these screws here on the sides. And then you can twist this to hold it in place. And that's the way we do it. Okay, so if you're doing this by yourself, you can set the disposal on the rim to hold it down while you lift this up and put the spring on, this circle spring. You can see the circle spring is on there kind of pried around that and that has to be stationary in order for you to push up on this and put that circle clip on okay next I'm gonna grab that disposal and we're gonna tighten these screws up a little bit here and actually want to seat that and you might not want to tighten these all the way down until you line up the uh, disposal with the pipe. But tighten it down most of the way so it's a little bit loose. And then you can adjust it to where it's easy access for this, the twist uh, clamp here. Twist clamp on the top here. This twist clamp. Okay, flipping around. Okay, here we are. Right side up. So this part here, J, part J, which is disposal inlet, or excuse me, dishwasher inlet. And if you notice on your disposer, that thing is plugged up. It's, it has a cover on it. So this one has a dishwasher. So it has a dishwasher drain line. That drain line has to go in here. And that little that little uh, that little block right there has to be knocked out. So you would just take a screwdriver and knock that out. And then hook her up and then we should be good to go. Thanks for watching. If you need any help, you can contact me. Applianceworks at yahoo.com. I also have a how to make money in the handyman and repair business and you can contact me. I take two students per year um, and it's a year's coaching and a link to over 100 repair videos and first year is only $49.95. If this video helped you please rate, comment and subscribe.